Welcome to Winning the Rig Game. As always, this is not investing advice. This is just a way to share my ideas and thoughts about the market. The Russian-Ukraine war will be studied by military planners for years to come. It's pretty obvious that some of the results that are coming out of this conflict have really opened up some eyes in Washington and the military. Expensive, heavy equipment and the weapons of the past seem to be less effective. What has been replaced, drones, man portable, and you see what the Ukrainians are doing with these type of equipment. They're beating them a much stronger, or at least thought of, as almost an unstoppable military with vastly better equipment and massive amounts of weapons. Okay, the Ukrainians have been supplied by the U.S. and European countries and, and given everything they could possibly ask for in terms of latest weapons. This has also been a tremendous benefit for the U.S. military and some of the other Western militaries because it gave them an opportunity to test out weapons. Some of these kamikaze drones and things like that have been extremely effective. Andrew Industries is a very different type of defense contractor. It's not the big multi-million dollar ones or billion dollar ones such as Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman or some of the other companies, but they're effective and they're building very different types of platforms. Traditionally, Silicon Valley had been a huge supporter of the military and defense procurement contracts. In recent years, for whatever reason, they have moved away from that. And it's really become a very anti-military, left of center type of organizations that really are totally against working with at least U.S. military defense agencies. And Andril saw this as an opportunity. Andril is a new type of defense company. When is it going to IPO? I have no idea. Probably not for a while. Let's face it, this isn't the best time or most opportune moment for a company to go public. So I don't anticipate them going public anytime soon. My main reasons for keeping an eye on this company is it's the right time, the right place, and they have the right weapons or systems, not always weapons but provide what the military is looking for. They're a small defense contractor and they're doing it a different way. They're building weapons and, and platforms on spec without the cost plus contracts. So they're taking a substantial risk by building products themselves and then presenting them to the military or other agencies to see if they feel that these would be useful. I have a lot of respect for that. The other reason I have a lot of respect for the company is Palmer Lucky. So Palmer Lucky started Oculus Rift, sold it to Facebook, was fired by Facebook, and then decided to start his own defense company. He's definitely a quirky guy. I like him. He's he's a beast. He's open, honest, patriot, and just quirky, genius type in sort of a similar mode to Elon Musk. How can you not like that? He's also been successful. He's been building out Enduro for several years now. That's off to the Border Patrol, U.S. Border Patrol. They've been highly innovative and were the first to recognize Enduro and some of the systems that they could use. After a while, in a few contracts, Andrew had some, some other ideas and enough interest that they started getting contracts with U.S. military branches. I think the military has a certain affinity for Andrew because they are patriots. They want to do the right thing by the U.S. military and not going after the cost plus contracts is putting their money where their mouth is. So I think they have a certain goodwill with the military. Okay, what are some of their platforms? One of their first products was the Sentry Towers and the Ghost Drone. This is tied in with the Lattice system. The Lattice system is sort of an AI software that's built into basically all the products and platforms in Android. For example, with the Sentry Towers, it allows for autonomous monitoring so that it can recognize when a human is walking across a field or a desert as opposed to a coyote or an animal, and it will alert the operators. Trying to watch cameras for hours and upon hours every day, you go nose blind, and there's no way to really pay attention to things that you need to pay attention attention to. And this is where things like the Lattice system that uses AI, a narrow form of artificial intelligence, to help detect early and dispatch human operators to go out and investigate and address whatever the situation is. Ghost was one of the coolest drones I've ever seen. It's more of a helicopter replacement than it is an actual drone. All weather, good flight time. They're expensive, but cheap compared to a helicopter, especially with the hours and hours of training for pilots and risking humans. They recently bought 
bought uh, a company out of Australia, and again, hats off to the Australians for developing an autonomous submarine. We recently saw the attack in Ukraine, Crimea, on the Russian port, highly effective using aircraft, uh, aerial drones, and surface-based drones. I'm sure if the Ukrainians had the opportunity to use submersible drones, they would have. The bottom line is a lot of the military has to do more with less, and being smarter and how they use equipment with smaller budgets or less personnel, that's always a plus. Not risking human lives is a huge advantage. So things like that are amazing. We've seen the different types of loitering munitions, such as the kamikaze drone. Well, Enduro is getting into that as well, especially other areas such as anti-drone systems to protect military bases. We're over in Iraq right now, and I got a buddy over there who has to worry about these things. Having anti-drone systems to protect U.S. lives working over in these areas is highly important. I just think this is a really cool company, one to keep an eye on. Like I said, I have no idea when it's coming public, but I think they're going to keep growing. And I guess this is sort of betting the jockey more than the horse. Palmer Lucky, again, I think he's very similar to Elon Musk in a lot of ways. When they go public, I'll be buying that stock. So if you can, hit the bell, the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You like Andrew? You like what they're doing? Would you invest? Okay, thanks very much. And the next video I'm going to make is going to be probably a short one, Epirus. Just want to show you some of the things that they have, and it's very similar to Andrew. I think it's also very interesting. Okay, thank you very much.